update two on what is now Cyclone Joyce, which has formed off the coast of Western Australia and is a tropical storm on the Sappho Simpson scale, category one on the Australian Cyclone scale, with winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of around 994 millibars. It's at approximately 17.4 south, 121.5 degrees east, and significant intensification could be on the way with a forecast peak at category three on the Australian scale, according to the Bureau of Meteorology. Looking at how the storm's progressing over the next few days on the forecast there, you can see it's going to be hugging the coast and then moving inland. Um, the amount of time it spends over water will probably be critical to how much it can intensify, as a matter of fact. And if it does stay closer to land, obviously other areas will get the rain and strong winds, but uh, the storm may not intensify as much. Right now though, it is 139 miles from Derby, 61 miles from Broome and it's pretty close to both of those and the pressures have been dropping uh, in Broome in particular down to 996 I believe earlier. Cyclone warning for Cape Levique to De Grey including Broome and a cyclone watch from De Grey to Dampierre including Port Headland and several other locations on the coast there as well. Here the chance of tropical storm conditions quite high as you'd imagine near the coast there and as the storm moves inland into the weekend uh, we'll still see elevated chances of tropical cyclone conditions, um, storm conditions inland uh, possibly for some time after the landfall we'll see uh, but that is what we're expecting into uh, early next week. Uh, it's probably for many of, of the locations there after of course Hilda not long ago uh, it could be a rain event more than anything but strong winds are also likely as stated. Sea surface temperatures are very warm that's one of the reasons why this storm may intensify significantly and could end up reaching 100 kilometers per hour probably more um, by the looks of things and another reason is because of the low wind shear you can see on the right hand side of the screen the little storm icon is uh, Joyce and you can see the wind shear there the dark blues indicating extremely low amounts wind shear destabilizes storms and there's hardly any of it around in its proximity so looking all good for Joyce except possibly its um, appearance although it has started to look much better in the last few frames of the imagery there you can see earlier it was looking a big gap in the center there but uh, some convection has been um, blowing up in the center of the storm now it does look a little bit more like a tropical cyclone as you would normally see um, and it will probably consolidate from here on in and begin to intensify some more as it moves towards the southwest and uh, not too far away from Broome could pass just 30 40 miles away from there at its closest point in the next few hours so that's how it looks right now and we'll have another update soon you can follow Force 13's outlets the website force13.com still under reconstruction at this time but we're, we're working feverishly to try and bring every page back you can also find us on YouTube search Force 13 all in text you're probably there right now subscribe if you haven't you can also like us on Facebook and send us a tweet or follow us on Twitter search Force 13 all in text you can also add our official account on Skype Force 13 or add my personal account on Discord Fool 13 hashtag 9094